Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Scalloway Harbour in Shetland. Scalloway is the old, was the old capital of Shetland now. The weather has turned for the worst, so it's quite windy, so you won't be able to hear what I'm saying all the time. Let's get inside. There's a castle over there, that's where we're going. Get out of the wind and the rain, and I won't have to shout. It's really quite windy today. There's fishing nets, there's hundreds of them. Of course, fishing is one of Scalaway's main exports. Right, so that's the castle. Get in there, get out of the wind, I think. Okay, so we're in the castle. Just coming down into one of the rooms. This is probably just like a little storeroom. There's effectively two towers joined together. There's the smaller one and the larger one. So let's go and have let's have a little walk around. We're going this way. So we're sort of now under the main tower. This is the kitchen in here. Now if you have a look here, this is where the fireplace would have been. And you can see right up to daylight. So this is the kitchen underneath. If you look, we are kind of sort of level with the ground just outside there. And we'll go, oh, there's a well there, look. On the well, through here. And in here, there's another, what would have been Story. And it tells you a bit about the castle. To give you a quick history, it's known as built by Earl Patrick. Earl Patrick, or Patrick was the Earl of Orkney and the Lord of Shetland. He built the castle, um, but he was eventually executed in Edinburgh for treason in 1615. So um, I won't go too much into him, but it's quite an interesting story about Earl Patrick. But I won't tell you it because. Um, I'm not entirely sure the exact orders of things, so do look up Earl Patrick, it's a fascinating story. So this was his castle, it's a typical 16th century Scottish castle, even though obviously we're not on the mainland. We're far north, our last video when we were in Lerwick, we've come about maybe 15, 20 miles north. It's still raining out there, let's go upstairs. ceilings are on this staircase. We go up here, coming into the great hall of the castle. So this is in the main tower. So come in here. As you can see it is just a ruin today. We're outside, obviously it's a lot less windy. You can see where the floor would have been. And you can see well where there'd have been a second floor. And there's various fireplaces. That if we can see right up to the top no i can't see up to the sky like we could that one we could see must have gone right the flue must go right up the middle there and here in this corner would have been a spiral staircase up here but as you can see through the mesh it's not really climbable anymore but the one on that side is so let's go upstairs again Going up this very steep spiral staircase, this is going to take us up to what would have been Lord Patrick's bedroom. Often, you can see that these little bricks they've used to fill in some gaps. It's a bit like reminds me of some of the buildings at Beckham's Cop Model Village, which is those of you who've watched regularly you know it's one of my favourite places. So we come up here, we can now see into the ruined shell of the Great Hall. So we're now up at that other level 
I pointed out, and I think there was possibly a third level. Maybe there was a roof with some maybe servant quarters in, because you can see it's a fireplace up there. The spiral staircase, or another spiral staircase, started here. So you went up, up there. So, and then this is his, missed the step there. This would have been Lord Patrick's bedroom. And there's, um, so there's another room there. So spiral staircase went up there, probably that up there was a door into the room above and it looks like there was another spiral staircase right up there up to the roof so there we are that is the castle here so um hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching from the castle goodbye leave a view of the great hall